Hey guys, so I'm just here to do a quick update video because I know I haven't had a video out in a while. I finally got a new camera. However, my computer is now broken, so I have to send that out. But I will just insert the footage now of when I got my new camera. I hope you enjoy. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I got something. Ah, oh, it's a tiny box. I didn't expect the box to do that. Like, look at how. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> there it is. The new camera. Content creation made simple. So, I went with this camera because it's basically made for YouTubers. So, here it is. Excited to try it. Okay, so I'm not doing a full unboxing, but I'm just going to open it and get it charging. Please tell me they give you a charger. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like every el electronic nowadays gives you the charger piece, but they don't give you the actual wall piece, which is so annoying and frustrating because I am running out of the little boxes. So this is my new vlogging camera, and it is the Sony ZV-1. And... There's a couple features about this camera that I really like and a couple that I don't. So I chose this camera because it was in the same price point as the G7X Mark III and I haven't heard many good things about the Mark III. I did own the G7X Mark II, uh, that is the one I tried to get repaired and I really really liked it. But So what happened with that was they had it for two months, they didn't get it fixed, and then after two months they were finally going to able be able to get the parts because of COVID, um, and they were over their 60 day like policy type thing. So the manager actually went and got my money back for my camera, and I had bought it three years prior. So they gave me all my money back, plus tax, except for the warranty cost, and so I ended up getting 850 plus tax back and the new camera the uh, Mark III was 999 a $1000 plus the um warranty which would have been like $300. So this camera was actually the same cost um and had a lot more features for vlogging than the new the G7X so anyways I went with this because it was the same price and I liked some of the features and I couldn't get the mark 2 G7X which I really wanted I was actually holding out for it um, but they're just sold out everywhere I guess because they're such a great vlogging camera and they're inexpensive um, anyways so this was um, I actually ended up getting a deal on this. The manager that also got me the, the money back gave me, I think, $50 off this or something like that anyways. Um, so basically I just paid for warranty again for another three years. So the features I like about this is that it was basically made for vloggers. Some things, uh, it has the record light right there that you can see when you're holding it up to yourself. It has the record button here right on top, which I really have to get used to because on the G7X, the record button is there and I keep pushing menu. <laughs> um, the screen, oops, the screen flips out and around to the front. But the nice thing about this is that it can flip back in to keep the screen protected. This also has a great mic on top. So hopefully you'll notice a difference with that. Um, and it comes with a windscreen, which I do have over there. So 
Um, there's a couple features on this that are really cool. Uh, on here it has the auto def background defocus. So you just hit that button while you're recording and it kind of blurs out the background for you to make a nicer uh, video. And the other C2 button here is a product showcase. So when you're showing things up close, it'll focus and then pull it away and it'll focus and it'll be super fast. So I like those um, features about it. Um, it has a nice grip as well. Um, pretty quick zoom, although it's not that great of a zoom. I wasn't quite impressed by the zoom. Um, so that'll kind of suck a little bit. Um, but there are quite a few mode buttons. The other thing I don't like about this is that you can't take a photo unless you're on photo mode. So when you're, you have to be in video mode to take a video and you have to be in a, a photo mode to take a photo. Uh, the only way you can take a photo while you're recording is if you are recording and you hit this button and it'll capture while you are recording. It's kind of stupid. I don't know why they didn't make it so that you could push just the photo button if you have it on uh, video mode, but whatever. Um, it didn't come with a strap, which I think is absolutely required for a vlogging camera because you are taking this on the go wherever you go. Um, and it's just nice to have this to put around your wrist. So yeah, I don't know why they didn't send that or have one available with it. And the other thing that you kind of saw was, was that there is no charger with this, just the battery and then you charge the actual camera and then the battery in it. You can remove the battery, which is great. So I did buy three replacement batteries uh, so I can hopefully use that. But now the real problem exists. <laughs> I finally, finally got a camera back and now my computer is not working. So one night it just wouldn't turn on and I couldn't get it to turn on. And then the next night I tried again, it turned on and I should have left it on because <laughs> after that it wouldn't turn on. I bought a new um, charging cord and that didn't work. So now I have to take that in and who knows how long that's going to be. So I have so much footage to edit and upload and I can't edit it. It's so frustrating because I have a lot of the footage on this computer and I did consider even buying another computer when I got the credit for this because I was hoping to hold out for the G7X. So I was planning on taking that credit and putting it towards a laptop uh, and that was before this all happened. Guess I should have done that. I couldn't have planned it. So now I have to go get that fixed. Hopefully it won't take too long. Um, cause I have a ton of footage on there and a ton of stuff from baby girls, obviously that I don't want to lose. So I'm hoping that it's just like a battery issue because the battery was gone on it. And I've watched videos, um, saying that the computer will actually keep it shut down if the battery is no good and it might ruin the computer. So hopefully that's just the case that it needs a new battery. So anyways, guys, I hope that I can get it quick, quickly fixed. Um, I'm hoping to take it in tomorrow, Friday. I guess you, by the time you see this, you'll it'll already be in. But yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in our next video whenever that is. So thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.